Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. January 2022 and this is your love boy today and your love boy today is talking about the zeal for my father's house that's the topic the zeal for my father's house and to let you know about how you should go about the zeal for your father's house we'll be taking our scriptural reading from the gospel according to St. John in chapter 2 and today we'll, we'll be starting the reading from the 13th verse if you're set come along with me let's go the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers at their business. And making a whip of cords, he drove them all out with the sheep and oxen out of the temple. And he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, Take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for thy house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign have you to show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered what he had said, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover feast, many believed in his name when they saw the things which he did. But Jesus did not trust himself to them because he knew all men and needed no one to bear witness of man, for he himself knew what was in man. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. The zeal for my father's house, and that you are supposed to also exhibit. So what is zeal? Zeal is passion. is wanting to do everything that needs to be done to make sure that something is successful. And if we're talking about that zeal for the Father's house. That is what Jesus himself also referred to, which had been in the books of old about the passion for the Father's house. And this is one story that you find in all the Gospels. You find it, we are reading it now from the Gospel according to St. John's, and you find it in all the synoptic Gospels too. You find it in the Gospel according to St. Matthew in chapter 21 from verse 13 to verse 17. You find it in the gospel according to St. Mark in chapter 11 from verse 15 to verse 18. And you find it in the gospel according to St. Luke in chapter 19 from verse 45 to verse 47. And in all of this, one thing was central to the story is that those Jews that were all over the nations and had come back to the temple in Jerusalem were ordinarily doing legitimate business because they had Jews from all over the world, from Libya, from the rest of Africa, from the east, from the west, and they were all in Jerusalem 
not only trading in pigeons and all the other materials for sacrifices in the temple at Jerusalem. And because they came from different nations, they also needed to exchange their different monies, just like a central bank, you know, or a bureau de change, and they were exchanging the monies in the temple. Ordinarily, you will think that was legitimate business, but if you check the gospel according to St. Mark in chapter 21, verse 13, you will discover that some of them went beyond being legitimate business. And So what's the lesson in this for us today as people of God? The lesson is that we should also, in our legitimate business of going about our Father's business or going about our Father's will, should know to what extent we should exercise our zeal so that Jesus will not, will not drive us out, so that we also do not become robbers. And this may have to do with the way we conduct affairs in the church as well. When we call for offerings four, five, six times in just one service, when we begin to sell, to, to sell holy water, we begin to sell olive oil, we begin to sell all kinds of things just to raise funds in the church, we pray that that kind of zeal that we exercise will not be such that Jesus will get annoyed and drive, out, drive us out of the legitimate business of calling people to God, of, calling, of drawing the attention of people to the gospel and winning souls for Christ. So be about zeal, the zeal for the Father's business, but do that which is right. Don't become a robber. Don't become like those that started off at the temple in Jerusalem doing legitimate business of exchanging money and of uh, selling things that were needed for the sacrifice and the gospel, but later on went into robbery by, by cheating others that came from near and far to do business there. So make sure that the zeal that you put into your father's house is legitimate zeal that will draw people to Christ, that will make people to want to be part of the business of Jesus, that will make people to also actually want to join you in furthering the gospel and in drawing people to Christ. Let the zeal for your father's house, let the passion for your father's house be legitimate business that can draw people to Christ and glorify the name of the Lord. And so, as part of my own zeal for my father's house now, and I want to make sure that I don't do it like a robber, I want to invite you to the kingdom of the Lord. I want to invite you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want to invite you to become a Christian so that you can join us in doing legitimate business of getting people to serve the Lord, to do the will of the Lord. If you are ready for that, it's a simple thing. Just say this prayer after me. And Jesus is always there, ready to accept you and to lead you on to do those things which are right in the sight of the Lord by the day. If you are ready, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I have heard about the zeal for my father's house. And I want to start off by giving my life to you so that I can also begin to acquire the appropriate zeal for the father's house. Therefore, forgive me of my sinful past. Let me from today be accepted into your kingdom that I may do that which is right in your sight from today, I pray in Jesus' name. So if you said that prayer, welcome into the kingdom and make sure that you go about your the business of your father's house legitimately. In fact, the first way you should do that is find a Bible-believing church and worship with them from time to time. If you find an Anglican church close by, that will be a Bible-believing church and if you happen to be in Osho, in Nigeria, then come to the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension, and there we do legitimate business with the Lord, and we expand the cost of the Lord, and Jesus approves of what we are doing. For the rest of us, let's say this prayer together. Say, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as my Lord, as a Savior, and I pray that you give me the grace to do the business that you will want me to do legitimately to let people turn more to your kingdom, I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today and please the Lord and the Lord will bless you. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful. I call
you do. 